Return of the stream! Every Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday at 6 p.m. EST, the slappening is back. Doing some casual pub stomping, custom maps, Freak Fortress, the Certified Medic Challenge. Be there! Only on twitch.tv slash bigjoeyslaps. It's gonna suck! What's up, you guys? So I was recently gonna make you all a new video hyping up this year's Spooktober update, but unfortunately this latest update has screwed up the replays in my server, so I figured today I'd just make a different kind of video. Now, some of you might remember a few years back, Pyro Joe used to have this series on his channel called TF2 YouTubers You Should Be Watching, and in my opinion, these were some of the coolest videos any TFTuber could have made. Not because they were the best edited kind of video, or because it was even the most exciting, but because it was Pyro Joe using his bigger platform at the time to shout out other YouTubers that just hadn't quite received their dues in the TF2 community yet. And a lot of the times, right after Pyro Joe would call them out, their channels would rocket in subscribers. And I was always very appreciative of these types of videos and thought it was a really cool idea to not only help smaller content creators grow, but to also show the community some great content that they just might be missing. And so today, that's a tradition I'd like to carry on. I'd like to promote just five YouTubers to you guys that I believe are heavily underrated and mostly focused just on TF2. Now, obviously there's a ton of TF2 YouTubers I could promote here that I think most of you would enjoy watching, but I'd like to keep this focus more towards creators I think could use the boost more. So, all the creators I'll be mentioning here are currently under 30,000 subs, but here's to hoping that that will change soon. So, starting with number one, we have Blind Pyro. Now, Blind Pyro, unlike what his name may have you believe, is not actually a Pyro main at all, but one of the most insane soldier mains you will ever see. Don't believe me? Just watch some of these clips. Their channel mostly just consists of them playing in some casual matches, but while doing so, pulling off some of the craziest market gardens, rocket jump combos, surfs, and juggles you have ever seen. Not only with the stock rocket launcher, mind you, but surprisingly a lot of the times with the beggar's bazooka as well. It's just absolute top-notch level soldier gameplay, and it's really amazing stuff to watch. He even has a couple videos where he just rocket jumps all the way from spawn to the other enemy's spawn across the map. It's incredible. Now, if you were to look at his channel now, I know a lot of you might think it's a lost cause to subscribe because the creator hasn't posted anything in about three years. But believe it or not, Blind Pyro actually did show up to one of my streams just the other day and mentioned they were interested in making videos again while we were watching one of his videos on stream. And I think with the right boost, we could certainly motivate this content creator to come back sooner than later. So definitely my first suggestion of YouTubers to subscribe to would have to be this incredible soldier main, Blind Pyro. Next up, we have yet another incredible class main, Christian Ma. Now, Christian Ma is a pyro main whose videos closely resemble that of Skechik. Each video is very well edited, has some really cool filters thrown on them, and are essentially just some of the sickest pyro frag montages you have ever seen. Here's a small look. As you can see, this isn't your average casual pyro main. This is taking pyro to its limits. Generally, in a Christian Ma video, you're gonna see some incredible air blast, flare jumps, air blast two flare combos, and quick fire burst turned into melee kills. It's honestly some of the most exciting, fun pyro gameplay you'll ever see, so definitely consider subscribing to Christian Ma next. Now, thirdly, we have a creator that is always blown my mind that they don't have more subscribers. Introducing Squirrely. Squirrely is just one of the most impressive people I've met in TF2 all around. Not only has Squirrely created TF2 content for about 6 years now, but at one point, he also held one of TF2's most expensive backpacks in the world. He was the actual number one unusual exquisite rack collector at some point, owning up to 107 unusual racks. But on top of just having a really great knowledge of trading and being willing to share that knowledge, Squirrely is also just an insane player. 
Most every time I've ever had the privilege of playing with him, he has just completely destroyed lobbies. I remember even one time playing with Uncle Dane on my team, thinking we'd finally have a chance, and Squirrely still just rolled our team. But lastly, what really stands out to me about this creator is that he's genuinely a nice guy and incredibly optimistic. If you watch his channel, his content is generally just always upbeat and super relaxing to watch. He's honestly just an overall great part of the community, and I really think he deserves more subscribers than he has. So feel free to check him out. Moving on, next we have a very unique content creator, Toopy. Now, I met Toopy in a game of Peer, ironically enough, and I only found out he was a YouTuber because a few people were mentioning him in the chat. But soon after, we had a pretty funny moment between us both, and afterwards he asked which one of us should use the footage from what just happened. So, about a day or two later, I curiously went to check out his channel to see this footage, and man did I not regret it. Toopy has basically found a very niche market of TF2 that he's filled very well, and I've never quite seen it done so well before. You see, most people fall in love with TF2 not just for its action-based gameplay or the goofy characters, but from all the silly, random moments that happen in the game, right? And that's essentially what Toopy's whole channel capitalizes on. Just small, goofy moments from TF2 that he catches on a day-to-day -day basis. Each clip that he posts is generally just a short, small moment from the game that he just found something funny in, and that's it. But because they're so short and he posts them practically every day, it's really an awesome channel to subscribe to. I watch one of his videos almost every single day. It's like daily, you can just open up your phone, watch a small 30 second long video about some random goofy TF2 moment, and that's it. It's awesome. And because of that, I think Toopy deserves all the subscribers he's been getting and more. So if you like quick, goofy TF2 moments, go subscribe to Toopy right now. And lastly, possibly the most underrated TF2 channel I believe to exist right now is Risk Endeavors. Now, I can understand one of the reasons why Risk Endeavors maybe hasn't quite popped off so well. His channel mostly focuses around a very niche mode of TF2 you may know as Manpower. It's most all he plays, and generally what all of his videos are focused on. However, if there was anyone who could convince you to want to play Manpower, it would be Risk Endeavors. For one, Risk Endeavors has some of the most impressive editing you will see in TF2. He's mentioned his biggest inspiration for making videos was Lazy Purple, and to be honest, sometimes watching his videos feels like you're watching Lazy Purple. Take a look. Okay, okay. Just like the grapple, power-ups can also be mastered. More specifically, power-up knowledge can be mastered. But it isn't just about knowing what each power does, because certain power-ups work better for certain classes. This is what we call synergy. For instance, strength does double damage, and the soldier's direct hit can do 150 to airborne players, meaning that he can literally one-shot any class that dares to grapple. In fact, this is what makes a soldier one of the most powerful classes in manpower. Now since his breakout video, Why You Should Abandon Normal Casual, he's continued to keep up this great editing style, typically filling each video with great SFM work, action-packed clips, great pacing, and an overall just upbeat commentary style. And because of this, I think Risk Endeavors deserves many more subs than he has, and he could someday become one of TF2's biggest creators. So, in my opinion, even if you're not into manpower, just consider subscribing to him anyway, because who knows, he might actually sell you on manpower someday, or he might just make content that's not manpower in the future, but you'll want to be there when he does. He's got a lot of potential, so consider subscribing. But anyways, that's about it for this video, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed my heavy slash pyro gameplay, as well as some of the clips from these upcoming creators. And please, you guys, do go subscribe to these content creators. They really all deserve, in my opinion, much more credit than they've gotten, and I think you guys giving them a boost would definitely encourage them to keep making more great content like they've already been making in the future. And if you guys would possibly want to see another one of these, please let me know in the comments below, as well as feel free to list any creators you think I may have missed out on here. And until next time, this was Big Joey! Later.